The skull is here because he's Yorick, and everyone knows, knows my friend Yorick, and he is a constant companion in my Shakespeare studies and in my Shakespeare teachings. He's an old friend of mine. Uh, he shows up in class. He's been with me in Shakespeare birthday parties. Uh, he's been loaned out to students for their Halloween costumes. So he and I go way back. You have to laugh at it. I think you have to have fun with it, or it becomes a dead letter, and it's not fun anymore. We're trying to make it new, try to adapt it, try to get people interested. Um, and I think eventually Shakespeare will speak for himself. He doesn't need me to defend him or anything like that. I think he might need me to just make a few strategic introductions to people who are afraid of Hamlet. But if you're afraid of Hamlet, maybe you should start off with Julius Caesar or Romeo and Juliet. If I could have my Shakespeare students or any of my students learn anything out of that Shakespeare class, it's that Shakespeare is for everybody. That's not a snobby thing, an exclusivist thing, but he had something to say to everybody because he talked about the human condition. So in the Globe Theater, you had nobles and uh, high mucky mucks and kind of elite Londoners, but you also had groundlings, working class people who stood because they couldn't afford a seat. They're all watching the same place. And so I think we need to remember that Shakespeare has something for everybody. And it's okay to laugh at him. It's okay to riff on him. In fact, I think he would very much get a kick out of that.